All right, everyone, so here's a quick walkthrough of our adding missing bar lines exercises. So we'll have to do these in both simple and compound meter. And I just want to have a sense of what they look like because students tend to get a little bit confused. These also take a little bit longer to solve, so you'll only have to do 10 of each of these. So what we'll see is an exercise like this, and there's our timer taken away. And what we need to do is set the bar lines because they're missing. Now, in order to get through the possible places for bar lines, you can click the arrows. So if you want to go right, it'll give you possible spots for bar lines. If you go left, it just goes the other way. And when you hit set bar line, that will create a black bar line for where you think it should go. So the nice thing about this is the time signature is really there to help us. So it says 3 8. Really, that just means that every 3 8 in this piece, there won't be any pickup measures or anacrusis or anything. It's going to start right on beat one. So if it says there are three beats and each of them is an eighth, then really all I need to do is count three eighths. And as soon as I arrive at three eighths worth of duration, I just place a bar line. So a dotted quarter is worth three eighths, so I set a bar line there. And then I'm going to click the arrow to see maybe another possible place. Let's see, two sixteenths make an eighth. 1 8 there, that's only 2 8 so far, so this isn't the right place. Ah, but an 8 here as a rest, that makes 3, so 2 16 make an 8, an 8 as a note, and an 8 rest make a total of 3 8 Well, that's the place for my next bar line. Another dotted quarter. Actually, the same thing just out of order, so this is an 8 rest, 2 16 making an 8, and another 8. So I want to get to that next spot, set the bar line. And now I have six sixteenths. Well, every two sixteenths is actually an eighth. So one, two, three for every pair. That means that whole group is a bar. And then really straightforward, three eighth notes right there. I've now set all my bar lines, and then I click Submit to see if I got it right. Now this one gives you a second to review before you continue. Any spots where you got it wrong will be a red bar line. So I'm going to click continue because they're all blue. That means everything's good and we've got nine to go. Probably going to run out of time this time around, but let's do a couple more. So if you do make a mistake and you realize it, you can just hit reset and all of the bars will disappear and then you can start from zero again. All right. so. Every measure should contain two quarter notes worth of duration. So, four sixteenths make a quarter. Another four sixteenths make a quarter. Well, there's my first bar line. Okay, two sixteenths and an eighth. That actually adds up to a quarter. And a dotted eighth and a sixteenth. Well, a dotted eighth is three sixteenths. And another sixteenth makes four sixteenths there. So, this is one two eighths. This is also two eighths and that adds up to two quarter notes. Now I have a dotted quarter which is worth three eighths. So three eighths and another eighth, that's four eighths. Well that must be another spot for a bar line. Two eighths make a quarter, two eighths make a quarter. That one's really straightforward. Two eighths make a quarter, a quarter is a quarter. And then, is it all good for the end? A half note is also two quarters, so I should be done. Cool, I'm gonna continue. Uh, let's get one with some wrongness in there. How about we stick, I don't know, a random one in here? And here, just so you see. Ah, there should have been one there, and there should have been one there. This one was right, this one was right, and then we should be good to go. Is it the same one again? Some of these will repeat. Let's see if I can find one more, but I'm actually going to restart it so we don't run out of time. Okay, two half notes in every measure. So I just need to be able to count up half notes. So a whole note is two half notes, so there must be a bar line right after the whole note. Two quarters make a half, two quarters make a half. Well, that's two halves. Okay, a dotted half is three quarters. That makes a fourth, so this is really just another four quarters, which makes two halves, and that means I have a full measure. There's another whole note, we've already seen that. And we should be done. Moving on. Two quarters in every measure, 
Four sixteenths make a quarter, and a quarter makes a quarter. Ties are very often made so that a note will last longer than would actually fit in its measure. So this is the perfect time. Many of these ties will be right over a bar line because we're holding the note over the bar line so often. So two quarters here, an eighth and two sixteenths makes a quarter. Two sixteenths and an eighth again makes two quarters two quarters total, one quarter with this group, one quarter with this group, an eighth, and then a dotted quarter. Well, a dotted quarter is three eighths. There's a fourth with the eighth to its left, and we set another bar line. Half note is two quarters, a quarter note rest, an eighth note rest, and an eighth. Well, a quarter note is a quarter note. Two eighths, an eighth rest, and an eighth note make another quarter, and then my end works out, a quarter note and a quarter note rest. Submit, and I move on. So you got to get through 10 of those, so you'll get faster, and the nice thing is, is you'll start to recognize some of them, because they will repeat here and there. All right, let's try one other kind. Let's do a compound meter one. So again, there's not really anything that we're doing, only we're having to count maybe more of a smaller division sometimes. But we don't even have to worry about beats here. We just have to count whatever the time signature says. So looking at compound meter, we, this says 616. Now, that just means I need to count up 6 16th notes. I've got a dotted eighth here. That's 3 16 And then here are 3 16 So 6 16 right there. Done. Let's find the next set. Well, this should be really obvious. These are all 16 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I'm set. A dotted eighth is three sixteenths again. An eighth note is two, and a sixteenth note is one. So one, two, three, four, five, six sixteenths. And then I end up with, again, that eighth and sixteenth pair. So two sixteenths for an eighth plus another sixteenth is three. And that group is also three, so I should be done. Nine quarters. Let's try this one, too. So that's all I have to do, count what it says, nine quarter notes, and then I place a bar line. So one, two, three quarter notes there. A dotted half is three quarter notes, and three more here. So that's one, two, three, that dotted half is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the next three quarters. Set my bar line. A dotted quarter is kind of one and a half quarters, right? So three eighths there plus an eighth here. So if we think of these two as a group, those two add up to two quarters. So this is a quarter and a half with that dot, and then another eighth note, which is another half. So it's like one and a half and a half makes two quarters. You'll see this kind of pair a lot. One that has a dot on it, and then kind of the remainder of the next part of the next uh, durational symbol. So dotted quarter and an eighth makes two quarters. A quarter again makes the third, four, five for the half, six for the next quarter, seven, eight, and nine. Set my bar line. A dotted half is three quarters. One, well, two eighths make a quarter, right? So this group is six eighths. That means it's three quarters, right? Two per quarter. So that's one, two, three, and then two eighths make a quarter. That makes four, five, six. 7, 8, and 9. So that last measure works out. And then I move on. 6 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Set my bar line. 1, 2 eighths and a quarter. Another eighth makes 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 eighths, very clear. And then a dotted half is also 6 eighth notes or 2. The uh, best way to think of it is probably to do what we always do, which is three of the next faster thing. So dotted half is three quarters. Each quarter holds two eighths, so that's six, right? Three quarters, two each for eighths, and we've got our six. Nine, sixteen. One, two, three. Dotted eighth note is three as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dotted quarter, that makes six sixteenth notes, and then dotted eighth makes three more, that's nine, and then our ending stuff, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're all set. Okay, good luck with that. 
Hope those go a little easier after that explanation. Have fun.